Tony plays <laughs> with friends. Dude, the first time I saw that, it blew me away. What, where he got cut up? No, where, uh... When, uh, when Krillin died, when Krillin or... explodes, I didn't, I didn't really see it coming. I was like, "Wow!" I had, no, I didn't know anything about Dragon Ball. It was so cool. Oh, ooh, he's getting effed. Game over. <laughs> Game over. Son of who? You have been found. You are dead, just like your mother. Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. That was really cool. <laughs> yeah, was, all his yeah. lines are bad. <laughs> yeah, they're like really annoying. I don't know who this character is for. <laughs> I feel like someone thought it would come off as like a fun, like campy, like '80s action flick kind of thing. Well, but that's kind of what the old Dante is. Is yeah. he's he's just like Mamma Mia, that's a spicy pizza, and then he'll <laughs> fucking like shoot a guy. But like this one, <laughs> this one has like none of that charm or irony to it. I'm with an organization called The Order. Heard of it? Something to do with that mass freak on the net. That's my boss. On the net? Yeah. Was this was recorded in the kitchen? What's going on? I was on the World Wide Web, and I heard about some some big old T dogs, some T bones, some T words. This is just like the Sonic fan film where they have huge ass TVs in the sides of buildings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the nostalgia critic is no, he's, he's not the reporter. <laughs> no, uh, like a, he's the soldier that no, Kerbifer the angry the kills. video game nerd is. Oh yeah, I remember someone was the reporter. And fucking uh, the the guy stuttering Craig is from fucking Screw Attack. <laughs> Good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> That's as it should be. But yeah, like, I just want to point out, I probably should not have got an S on that mission. I think it means you suck. Yeah, that's what S stands for. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. This is, here you go, little baby. Goo goo gaga, you it's moron. It's okay you to make mistakes. You fucking stupid mook. If I ever make a game with a grading system like that, I'm gonna make every single grading thing call you a f <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Start mission. And if you get an F, it sends you to the Holocaust in the past. Jeez. As opposed to the one coming in the future. <laughs> That's you, Chris. Oh, well, the nice ass? Crying and praying. Oh. As you do. As your Catholic <laughs> Irish upbringing has taught you to do. They are enslaving I guess I did used to do that. Oh, <laughs> well, cool. Every time she presses on that one brick, a bunch of bricks just fucking fall on the floor. <laughs> Why do he look so silly? <laughs> I don't know, he's making a doofy face. Mmm, <laughs> yum, dust, my favorite food. <laughs> We've been collecting dust for many years. <sighs> I can tell. Uh oh. Guess who this is? Virgil. That's right, epic anonymous guy with the X's over his eyes. Fuck off. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Mm, hey, brother. Mm. I don't know if he knows he's his brother yet. Wait, I was right. I was uh, really. Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. That's Virgil. Dante. It really is you. Yeah, you're my brother. I feel like they're trying to go for like. How much of your childhood do you remember? Like naturalistic voice much, acting, but they just sound bored. Yeah. Why my memory? Why? <laughs> they told me I had a car accident that resulted in total amnesia. Age. Seven. seven. <laughs> A normal person would have said, I, I love I these long seven. pauses. <laughs> <laughs> you are not human, Dante. We use force, yes, but we also use intelligence, politics, propaganda. God, I can see why people hate this. <laughs> yeah, right? Jesus. <laughs> it's epic and culturally relevant, Chris. I also really, really preferred Virgil's older voice actor. Yeah, I- I prefer both of them, honestly. This guy reminds me of that fucking idiot in Spider-Man 2, The Amazing Spider-Man, Harry Osborn. Oh. The Chronicle actor guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh from The Amazing- yeah. it's okay. Hey, Peter. Apparently, uh, the guy that voices Dante, not this Dante, but the Dante in, uh, the mainline series. Yeah. Apparently that guy is, like, a crazy person that just, like, goes into the mountains and only comes out to play Dante. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is he also the same guy who did the mocap for Dante? How do those guys even get cast in the first place? Well, I think he got cast, you know, for and the first And then turned Devil into May a crazy Cry. guy. Yeah, and, and now he's, yeah, he just goes into the woods and 
disappears like Sasquatch and then comes out of retirement to play Dante. Tomar, that's you wearing your fedora. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is Tomar out on the town. Tips foreskin, milady. Tips foreskin. <laughs> Clips foreskin. <laughs> Clips foreskin into fedora. <laughs> Every day I clip my foreskin just a little bit so it grows back calloused and stronger. <laughs> then you use your uh, Uncle Stretchy. <laughs> Uncle Stretchy. Yeah, the, the product like a for weight? foreskins. Is that Uncle a weight stretchies. that you attach to your the, your foreskin is to restretch like, it? It's like a 70 pound kettlebell you hang off your cock. <laughs> That's mm. what happens to me every time I smell my belly button. I've been slowly rebuilding my foreskin ever since my bris. <laughs> my bris. I add an extra pound every year. <laughs> She's was... using yucky sperm uh, spray paint. Sexual harassment. And now Dante is going to use the power of the actual semen to teleport into the, the nether. This guy does look like he swallows semen, though, let's face it. She literally said that the, the summoning circle was made of horse semen or some shit. Oh, shit, I missed that. Yeah. Because this, this is like an epic and edgy game. I love you very much. Yeah. I don't like this Virgil. He's kind of high and mighty He's on himself. Shit. He's yeah. boring. He is boring. He has no personality. You're never going to guess if he's going to end up as a good guy or a bad guy at the end. You You literally would never guess. It's Dante's origin. We're going to his childhood home. I grew up in this big stupid room with a dumb chandelier. Ugh, so as fire. if. The tragic past of people living in fucking 8,000 square foot <laughs> mansions. That I, lobby is bigger than any house I'll ever see. <laughs> I always find, like, I don't know why people think that that's, like, a sympathetic origin. Like, they kept doing that in RPGs for a while. It's like... You were the king, and you had everything, and Aww. then and then you and weren't then they the king took it anymore. All away. I think it's kind of cool. I really, I, I'm always like, why did, why does anyone deserve to be the fucking king just I mean, out of the I gate? Mean, well, I, I think so, it's cool. When, human when, suffering is kind of relative, though, right? If the person starts I off guess, cocky yeah. and arrogant, and then they they learn to be like, you know, like a good person, then it's fine. But I mean, it's a very cliched story. You're right. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about like like fable. Or, it's about or yeah. Dragon just, Age oh, did it. The as reason well. Fable sucked at doing it is because they didn't make you learn anything from it. Everyone at the start is just a pompous asshole. Are you talking about? Is that Fable Three? Yeah, you're talking Fable about? Fucking Three. Probably they did the it, worst they did game it, ever. Fable Three. They did it in like almost every single Dragon Age. I'm pretty sure they did it in like a ton of different games. I don't know. It was like the trope for a while. Like yeah. you were the king, and then uh, fucking uh, you. In Fable, sword. it just didn't feel good either, because everyone's like cracking jokes while horrible shit's going on. And then you become the king at like the midway point again anyway. Yeah. yeah. Now Fable 3, I think, is probably the stupidest, and then it's just about, game I've ever played. And then it's just a game about who you give your money to. <laughs> I would much play Chupacabra over Fable 3. <laughs> Chupacabra is pretty sick. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's the Keyblade. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big fucking key. Allows Dante to open the planet Earth. I want to go and see the Earth and scoff at it. My dad fucking lied to me. He said that if I poured acid on the ground, it would take me to the center of the Earth. He'll say now. Where'd now you get a hold of the acid to chest the battery? I bit into it. You actually bit open a battery? Yeah. I'd like to hear where that goes. I guess you're still alive today. <laughs> I remember, um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't try that. I had a friend that as a kid, he like, uh, he had like a pill in one of his hands and a battery in the other one. He had one. the red pill in one and the blue pill in the other. Yeah, and he said, I'm, I'm gonna be the most red pilled MF, and he took the battery and swallowed it. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Yeah. They were Did like he really, really say I'm gonna be the most red No, <laughs> <laughs> no he, was, he was like eight or something. Aww. And, uh... They didn't like take him to the hospital or anything, they were just like really worried he was gonna die for like, until he shat. Aww. Did he shut out a solid battery case? Yeah, in? pretty much. That sucks. Well, it wasn't it wasn't like a like a double A battery. It was like one of those like little ones you put in a watch. Oh, okay. I don't know why he had one in one hand and the other in another and I it, I I don't know how that scenario came to pass. But they were just like, "Oh, is he going to die?" I don't know, whatever. Uh th this was also a family that uh didn't believe in germs. Like they were very heavily religious. So they they believed in God, but they didn't believe in bacteria. So, I, Did I they wash their hands for God? <laughs> Maybe. 
<laughs> I, I actually don't know. Wait, this fucking sucks, dude. This game is trying to act like nobody knows all this shit anyways. Yeah, uh, well, only... Only Virgil know- well, no, he doesn't know because they li they wiped his memory I know, and they but like, they're, they're playing it off like the player doesn't know either. Yeah, because this is a reboot. I know, but everyone fucking played Devil May Cry! That's the thing, is this isn't Devil May Cry, this is DMC! Why the would you just read shit why would, in America! Why would they retell the same story again in a worse way? I don't get it. Uh, it's not worse, it's western, alright? Uh -huh. These little intros are fucking annoying. They're teaching you the names of these demons. <laughs> They're shitty names. They're fucking generic. What was as this hell. one called death again? Death Knight. The Death Knight. Just not even the. Just Death Knight. I think that's a Final Fantasy class. Oh, I don't no. know, man. I'm not even the biggest Devil May Cry fan, but this is annoying. Yeah. Um. So this is this is where you get like you I, they don't give you the the main mechanics of the game until this level. Can you lift up your trench coat and show him your knickers? What is Sparta <laughs> trying to show you? You tried to show me how to use the power of red. Daddy, why you get scratch? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> this is the worst screen. <laughs> yeah, his voice actor is like, I remembered it being bad, and this is worse than I remember it being. <laughs> Make sure you scream, but not too over the top. <laughs> ah! No, that's too over the top. Ah. Yeah, I mean, it could it could have just as easily been like yeah, wouldn't it bad have been more direction. Like a, no, I, who knows? Or an, or an anime. Not so tough now. No, people only do that in anime. Ah. <laughs> How many people in your life have you met that go? <laughs> um, no one. But I've also definitely ever met a guy went. Ah. <laughs> it re it really would have been more. Ah. It would be like that. Yeah, it, it did just kind of grab him. Ah. <laughs> A is for ah. <laughs> or WTF. Yeah, so I, I have this now. So the way that, that this game kind of works is like, you uh, you hold like right tri trigger to use the heavy weapons, and then I'll eventually get a, a fast one too. That's cool. And you can kind of switch like mid combo if I if I recall correctly. That's pretty cool. Does yeah. that break the shields? Yeah, the, it does. That's cool. Are you able to juggle enemies in the air with your guns yet? Yeah. Have you tried that yet? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can do that in like every Devil May Cry. Yeah, I just I just haven't seen you really do it that much is all. I could do it. Who's there? <gasps> oh, I want to <laughs> grab that thing! Can you not grab that now? No, I can grab- Ah, fuck! <laughs> okay, I guess not. Um, <laughs> Oh no. Little ha hangies. I think that's what she wanted to happen. Blood um. dripping from the ceiling, what is this? Is this the house of a woman having her period? <laughs> Am I right, fellows? You know what, Lyle? Things have changed since you've been gone. Oh, do yeah. they not have We're those more anymore? progressive now. Oh. It can't be so disrespectful toward the lady. We don't folk. talk about women's private areas no more. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, women. Now we of talk the world. about them and such. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop chasing those golden revenants. I just want to, you know, uh, I, I just want to parent them and do not do anything bad to them. If I ever have a kid, I hope they come out like that. <laughs> what? Uh, a little semi transparent? Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, then I would feel like you could, like, hit them it... and, you, like, you wouldn't have to feel so bad for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know how Child Protective Services handles golden intangible ghosts, <laughs> but, uh,. Probably not well. We know Australia would ban the game. Yeah, they probably would. You can't- you can't hit nobody! In Australia- Ah! You know that kangaroos have like claws and shit? No. Apparently they do. I knew they had big old human ass biceps and stuff. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, str jacked. they're strong. They really just have like regular old human arms. Which is why they are effective boxers. Yeah. Boom. It's really common in Australia for dudes to just walk out into their backyard and like, like pin a, a kangaroo down and scoop the like jello out of their pouches <laughs> and fuck them. What? The, yeah, they have slimy little pouches. Why you scoop the jello they, they out? They scoop out the, the pouch jello and fuck their their hands with it. Yeah, they oh, make like, them into like elixirs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Oh my god, delicious slime. It would be kind of fun to like 
be in your backyard <laughs> and just and pouch. just beat up a kangaroo and not have to feel bad about beating up a man-sized thing. <laughs> no, they <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's a cat. Let's just use a enlargement ray on it so we won't feel bad about killing it, Tomar. They actually want people to kill them. Like, well, they're, say, they're trying to get kangaroo meat to I catch just, on. I absolutely oh. sympathize with cats and dogs, but I don't sympathize with a kangaroo. Oh, they're not so if bad. If one came at me, I wouldn't feel bad about socking him, is I've all I'm saying. I've seen videos of them trying to break into people's like glass windows, and it's just like, fuck Kangaroos you. are smart enough to like process simple math. Like, really? Yeah, there's a video of like, there's like a zoo and they got a, a kangaroo and they give it like an abacus and it starts like doing basic addition. <laughs> no way, you're fucking with me. <laughs> abacus <Yeah>. kangaroo. <laughs> uh, did they ever teach the fucking sign language to gorilla to do math or like know who George Washington is or anything like I that? Don't know. I don't know. You want to know something you weird mean about Coco? Yeah, th I mean that, that could have been really bad if like it started getting some opinions about things and doesn't even know like the father of freedom. Do you think more people would have? Do you think more people would have cared about Coco if they changed her name to Kunkus? Probably. I mean, I think a lot of people liked her anyway. I didn't hear anybody. Well, no, like, say you say she was everybody an likes the main like fund for like guerrilla welfare is just Coco.org. Coco. Coco. Like yeah. Coco is like the face of like the pro guerrilla movement. Yeah. 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 Think Donate about that. to Coco.org. Coco uh, went her whole career without getting canceled or me too. Getting cancer. Oh, good. Coco didn't get me too. No, but she was like fucking Robin Williams with her fingers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that was, was that was consensual. She was slipping her fingers into Robin Williams. <laughs> 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 um, what was I gonna say? Oh, here's a little gorilla trivia. Holy shit! Nice. Or, or it might be chimp trivia. Is that th they can learn sign language and all this other smart crazy shit, but they can't comprehend uh, asking something a question. Like, uh, they can't comprehend that you can get information from other things by asking about them. That's- and this isn't meant to be a pun or anything, that's literally like a fucking, like, monkey's paw wish kind of deal. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Like, it is they're, interesting. They're so fucking smart, but that's pretty much what separates them from us, is that they don't know how to ask a question. So Coco's never, like, asked a question before? I don't think so. She- she, she just answers questions? If she did, she was probably the only one. You'd think that just by virtue of being able to answer a question, you'd- you you realize you'd the opposite the, was the possible. concept of a question? Yeah, maybe. I but don't know. The, you know, it's not- they're not like us. Humans aren't supposed to do the things they do, Tomar. We're not supposed to know about nuclear reactors We're and not such. supposed to refrigerate our eggs. Yeah. We're not supposed to- man, there's like a whole- a whole, uh, online discourse hidden just beneath the surface about whether or not you're supposed to refrigerate eggs. Wait, really? Yeah, the dirty foreigners apparently don't. And they're um, like, these bloody yanks, they- they waste too much food. They, they don't refrigerate their fucking eggs. Americans put bread in the fridge, it's so fucking weird. No, we don't. You yeah. can put bread in the fridge. Also- It'll last longer if you do. In Ireland, we but don't But it also put, ruins the bread. <laughs> we don't put ketchup in the fridge. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. It's weird. I feel it's like <laughs> ketchup does not need a, like- if you're gonna use it in a reasonable amount of time, it probably does not need refrigeration. No. Yeah, it's it's a lot of like salt and like it's and sugar. Yeah, yeah. Both of which probably hold. Both of which have like anti-organism properties. Like that's why syrup's a preservative because like when something's got a shit ton of sugar and it's hard, it's a hard environment for bacteria to grow. Yeah, doesn't honey like straight up not expire? Um, Something like it that. It turns hard, it, and then it, you it can does melt eventually it again. crystallize. But yeah, you can you can melt it back down. Uh, so, I think I, I just Tomar, did like a bonus. Have you ever challenge. put honey all over your balls? Nope. And let it crystallize. Wow, wow sir! And hit it with a hammer. Someone <laughs> does not <laughs> shatter it like like a fucking Mortal Kombat yeah, what fatality. What is it? Fucking liquid nitrogen or honey? That's what are the we most talking natural about? way to get a vasectomy. Is what I'm saying. The yes. most natural way. Yeah. What could be more natural than just using only honey and nothing else? That's how the French explorers did it. Yeah. When they were like at sea and they just needed a vasectomy. I wish I could play God and go back <laughs> in time. We just need a vasectomy at sea. I wish I could play God and go back in time with just like a ship full of honey and pour it on someone really famous back then. <laughs> like Joan of Arc? <laughs> yeah, just like crystallize her honey. <laughs> pour honey on Joan of Arc. <laughs> like fucking... Like the Jurassic Park mosquito? Yeah. Oh, so so she'd just be perfectly preserved, and you could take her DNA and clone yeah, her? and then we you could have the movie Joan of Park, where <laughs> <laughs> just have a bunch of Joan of Arcs. 
<laughs> Joan of Fark. That's well, not bad. That's not bad there? at all. Well. <laughs> oh, look at that. A little yeah. goopy platform so, for you. So, uh, yeah, the, the red one, you- when you press the red button and then fire, it pulls you towards- sorry, it pulls things towards you. Dude, that's a really clever and then, effect. Uh, but if they're solid, then it pulls you well, toward it, No, right? you get- a, you get a blue one. The, oh, the I fast see. one, uh, that one does the opposite. Smarana. Like, the base mechanics of this game are, like, really, really solid. And I, I- I will actually stand by them as being pretty good. I will stand by how shitty and lame it is. I will stand by this stupid fucking game and its dumb moronic system of combat and movement. Stop him, man. He's being a It's butt. a shielded bath. Dude, that, that text yeah, shit yeah, is well, really heavy-handed. I don't like it. Yeah. It, it gets more heavy-handed as time goes on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's ones later on that literally say shit like, Fuck you, Dante! Oh, or, really? Yeah. Do any of them say, Kill yourself? <laughs> K-Y-S, I wish. K-Y-S. Dude, evade that fucking diamond. If you do that, you will always evade the demon. If you push the button at the right time, anything is possible. Yes! That's what I keep saying, that's my gamer mantra. Oh. Damn, baby. Is that Mama Eva? Yeah. Mom? A green rose? What a fucking mook. I think they fucked up the hue of that picture, maybe. Yeah, I think the whole picture was supposed to be green and the rose <laughs> was supposed to be red. Yeah. I love you, Dante. I hope someone got fired for that one. Those little, uh, painted sections look nice. Yeah. Uh-oh. What's their family name? Is it like Inferno or something <laughs> lame? I don't know. They don't need I don't think second they ever, names in hell. Yeah, I don't think they ever say it, but I'm I'm glad that they don't say it. There's no satisfying answer to that. <laughs> Dante O'Callahan. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I already kind of knew that. Thanks. Dante Baker. <laughs> it sucks. Dante McGinnis. <laughs> what the hell, Irish? Yeah. Dante Coleman. Dante O'Malley. <laughs> O'Malley's pretty good. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Dante O'Connor is perfect. Oh. Get ah. fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Die, you big ugly brute. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this one gonna frighten him too? <laughs> Wow. Good job, Lyle. Did Pretty he get cool, a bow? Right? It's a ski. Oh, it's a, it's a big scythe. Oh, you got Osiris. Osiris. Oh. An angelic scythe with a big bite. It was Osiris, Reaper of Souls. Yeah. That's pretty metal. Yeah, it's cool. Or are you talking about the Combi Christ soundtrack? No, I, I meant the scythe. Uh, bitch! Yeah! I like the sound effect it made for that. Bam. Um, yeah, so this, this is like a fast, like, area of effect thing. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, you kill those lesser sombreros or whatever the hell they are. <laughs> I, f I, I forget what all the enemy types are called. Oh, lesser sombreros. Okay. All I remember is the little bathos angels, and that's about it. Or is your brain holding on to that one because my <laughs> shitty take a bathos joke? Because if it had that impact on you, I'm I guess very so. Proud I guess that, that was that was enough for me to remember. <laughs> it.